Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaking of boogeyman, Alberta's combined post-secondary tuition and mandatory non-instructional fees are amongst the highest in the country, which helps, helps to explain why Alberta has the lowest post-secondary participation rate in the country. In the budget speech, we heard a lot of rhetoric about preparing Alberta for the future. To the Premier, your budget features the biggest cuts in post-secondary education in decades. While most Albertans consider education an investment, it's clear that you consider it a cost. Can you please explain how gutting post-secondary funding prepares Alberta for the future? Honourable Premier. Well, Mr. Speaker, one of the exciting parts about the budget speech last week was when the Minister of Finance talked about the fact that it's important to take an approach to working with our campuses across this province to ensure that we're investing in economic growth, research and innovation, Mr. Speaker. There is no doubt that we want to give every student in this province the opportunity to succeed. And, Mr. Speaker, that is one of the reasons that we have more combined bursaries and student loan money available to students in this province than the rest of the country combined, Mr. Speaker. This is what leads to economic growth and success. This is what students have asked for, Mr. Speaker, and we're going to ensure that it happens. Honourable Leader. Mr. Speaker, apparently the Premier is alleging that they weren't getting the institutions to work together in the first place. Premier, your ideologically extreme devotion to trickle-down economics means burdens are trickling down to students and their families. Student leaders tell me that your deep cuts will negatively impact class sizes already so full that students have to sit on the floor. And when they graduate, they have an average debt of $27,000. To the Premier, how is that helping Alberta prepare for the future? Honourable Premier. Mr. Speaker, one of the great things about our opportunities in this province is that we're always prepared to have conversations about how to improve processes, Mr. Speaker. And when that happens, we're able to see further opportunities for success. There is no doubt, Mr. Speaker, that doing things differently is sometimes challenging for people to understand. We've certainly seen that in the past couple of weeks in terms of this debate, Mr. Speaker. But I'll tell you that we are committed to ensuring that we are investing taxpayers' dollars in research, in innovation, and in excellence internationally so that we can compete, grow this economy, and provide jobs for students, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, gutting education in Alberta is not doing things differently. Alberta's post-secondary students have a desire to work in the summer to help pay, pay their, way through school, their way through school and get that all-important first job. For decades, the Summer Temporary Employment Program, or STEP, has helped students, the nonprofit sector, and small business. Premier, cancelling STEP is the ultimate in penny-wise and pound-foolish. Will you at least correct one mistake and restore STEP funding? Mr. Speaker, a little bit of a historic lesson, although I was only seven years old. The STEP program was started in 1972 when we had high student unemployment, Mr. Speaker. The unemployment rate in Alberta varies day to day, but is essentially four and a half percent. Mr. Speaker, we have students and people that are participating in the economy and the not-for-profit sector who are quite able to find employment opportunities without the STEP program. Now, Mr. Speaker, there is also no doubt that STEP has been fundamental to the not-for-profit sector, and the Minister for Human Services has already met with stakeholders about how to design a program that is appropriate, Mr. Speaker, not a crutch from over 40 years ago.